Guys, I finally bought my first share. I bought one Tesla share at 1750 And by the time I'm making this video, right, I am already up by about $50, so I'm feeling pretty confident about it, lah, guys. Look, so this is my first stock. If you guys do not know anything about investing, then I am right here with you guys. This is where we all start out at ground zero. Okay, so I've looked at tons and tons of videos and I'm going to summarize like the top 10 that I feel the most useful in the description down below. You guys are free to actually go there and take a look. Uh. And seeing that this is a personal finance channel, right? It'll be quite rubbish if I don't know how to invest, right? So I better learn. Uh. <laughs> in the past few months, I know I've not been uploading. I am sorry. I've been working on my business quite a bit. And because of that, I come into a little bit of money. I set aside three months for my rainy day, three months worth of expenses for my rainy day fund. Then after that, I can look into investing. For you guys, I say keep about three to six months. Don't keep too much otherwise, your money will just be eroded away by inflation. But of course, you might want to keep aside a little bit of money. You can call this the opportunity fund. So if the market bubble were to explode, you can actually go in. If you're starting out, don't worry. I am right here with you. If you are someone that's already experienced, do share what you feel is most helpful in the comments below. I will be actively there. Right now, there's nobody talking to me in the comments below, so please guys. Just yesterday, my friend sent me his referral link to this trading platform, uh, Tiger Brokers. Okay, They have been quite patient with me when I call them over the phone. So, I felt like this is the universe's way of telling me, Ethan, you need to get this done. The setup of the account is easy. However, the problematic part, right, is that when you want to set up this account, you need to actually pass a quiz given by MES. So prepare to have your laptops or your desktop nearby, okay? This quiz, right, contains 20 MCQ questions. This is segmented into a few different parts. Lah. So before you are presented with the questions, right, they will actually give you a small lesson. And the answers can be found in these small lessons. So the tactic here is you screenshot and save the lesson. Then when you're doing the questions, right, you refer back. So why Tesla? One, Elon Musk is running it. He sent a car into orbit because he can. Enough said, guys. Number two, electric vehicles are going to be safer and it's going to be more efficient than the internal combustion engine cars. All right? It's going to take over the internal combustion engine cars, like how the internal combustion engine cars, which is the normal car that we are dealing with right now, took over horses last time. Number three, they're going to have a five to one chair split. So let's just say one chair is this apple. Yes, guys, this is the apple. This is the smallest apple I've ever seen. So it's going to be split into five pieces. Let's say the apple was worth $2,000. When you cut into five, right, each one of these will be worth $400, okay? So what this does, right, is for the average investor, right, it becomes more palatable. It becomes more bite-sized. What this accomplishes is that it lowers the point of entry. Instead of paying $2,000, you're paying $400. This increases demand. However, supply does not change. What this means is that the price is going to increase further. Okay, This is something that's guaranteed and it is going to happen on the 31st of August. Number four, which is potentially one of the most important things, which is this Battery Investor Day. Okay, Battery Investor Day is going to happen on the 22nd together with the shareholders meeting for Tesla. Okay, So during this, they are going to unveil their progression into battery and this is super important because one of their bottlenecks, right, one of their choke holes, right, is that they are not able to produce enough batteries for their cars. So if they're able to solve that, right, they so solve the supply chain problem, which increases the value of the company. Last but certainly not the least is this guy named Ken Teng. He is an amazing guy. He is already retired. He's sharing what he know about stock investing, Tesla. He used to be an option trader. Amazing fellow all around. He is running this YouTube channel Chicken Genius Singapore. I shit you not, guys. <laughs> Go and look it up. He is amazing. His um, weekly analysis is usually quite accurate most of the time. And I made my move because of this. Okay. He drew a resistance line at 1672. Correct? He says if he sees a green, a clear green candlestick, right, it will be a very good indication that the market is going up. 
And what happened is I saw this green candlestick and I tried to go in. I go in at 1710. I changed enough USD to go in for that. The price gone already. I changed for 1720. The price gone already. So I got pissed off. I changed 300 right away. Then I saw 1735. Then I thought, maybe it's too high to go in already. And then I keep seeing it go up, go up, go up until I... Okay, I just made a gut call. Okay, this is where Ken will most probably disagree with me. I don't know, man. But I made a gut call. I just decided to buy a market and I hit the price at 1750. Okay, this is $40 away from where I originally intended to buy. But this is how fast the market moves. So that is my very first experience in getting into the stock market. If you want to get started yourself, I will leave my referral link in the description down below. But if you've learned something today, most importantly, if you've learned something today, like, share and subscribe. It will help me out a lot. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.